Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So uh, here we are today. We are drilling Aussie rape. So this is a variety called Flamingo and it's going in at about three kilograms a hectare. Um, so what I thought I'd do, I posted a video last time uh, of the drilling that should have been in the last video where I said I might go through a little bit more of the, of the detail of how the drill is set up and yeah, the tractor itself. So where do we start? I've added to that box. So our rate up here, three kilograms a hectare. Our fan speed, which is set hydraulically. Uh, it's on the green plus spool valve at the moment. So we've got it set at 2,230 yeah, ish RPM. Total hectares I've done of, of rape, horsey rape. And then, um, yeah, finally I'll kind of bout the, the bout we're on. So I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. We've got up here, we've got a camera so we can see what's going on behind us. Generally, when I reverse, it'll turn full screen. Generally, I just have it on there so I can just make sure there's nothing blocked up at the back. And let's just turn around on this top headland. I thought I'd sort of turn the camera on for a couple of reasons. But one of the reasons is because this is probably one of the best places on the farms in terms of views over the countryside. So, um, there we go. Yeah, so we've got kind of Hereford over there somewhere. I can just about see the top of the cathedral, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we got kind of Abergavenny that way and um, into Wales that way. So, yeah, pretty good field in terms of views. Yeah, just in terms of setup beforehand, this had muck on it yesterday or two days ago. So John came through with a top down on the previous tram lines, which are these dark patches that you can see. I've now done the tram lines off that hedge there. I think they were probably done off that side last year, but we're kind of trialing things and looking then to, now we've got the RTK to get fixed tram lines in year on year. So. Um, yeah, just sort of give it a go. These are all rape fields uh, I've drilled probably a week or a little bit more ago. Had a bit of a break since uh, since the rain came. Yeah, they were probably drilled a, a week and a half ago. Um, they've had their pre-emergence. They've had um, a dose of slug pellets on. And then we basically just, yeah, the weather kind of caught up with us and it's now a wet August, right at the end of August today, I think tomorrow is September. Um, and yeah, just cracking on with rape is what I'm up to. And then the sort of wet days in between are general jobs, odd jobs, loading lorries, things like that. See, you know, furt and seed lorries coming, so um, unloading those. Anyway, I said I was going to get on with this video, but uh, that is that box really quickly. So these are, you can hold your bout if you wanted to stay on 604 or whatever, you could uh, hold that. So if you lift it, go around a set of trees, drop it down, it will stay on 604, so you always remember. If not, you just have it on change, which is on anyway. These are your bout markers, so I've got them on auto, on off either side at the moment. Even though we're drilling with RT RTK, still have it on, so I make sure I'm just in the back of my mind, knowing I'm happy with it, and uh, for the sake of putting them out and in and greasing them, sort of every day it's it's not too bad you can also have it on manually so say for example the first tram line you put in you can have them going on both sides or when you're finishing the field at the end you can turn them off completely that's an enter and escape button that's seeds coming out if I want to go underneath and check the fans uh, sometimes do I turn that off so no seed will come out that's your higher and lower lift this button here so if you want it to lift on the headland a little bit like it's on lower lift at the moment it'll only lift so much um, but if you wanted to go and do the kind of headland and reverse into corners then you have to have it on high lift or for you know road mode that sort of thing And what else we got? That's, so that can bring the marker in. So if you're coming up to a telegraph pole and you've got that switched on, 
when I press to lift the drill up, the drill won't come up, but the belt marker will come in. And then once you pass a telegraph pole or tree or whatever it is, you can then put it back out by pressing the, uh, the down button. And um, yeah, I said I'd do this video for a couple of reasons. So one is a cool view that we get from up there, which is uh, pretty special. Number two is, hello, we're on the phone. Um, Number two is because it's quite a steep bank, so uh, just seeing how the fence copes with it in TMS. And number three is so that when I come back next year, um, you know, jump on the drill and stuff, I kind of got a bit of an idea. I can watch this the night before and uh, kind of understand what to do. So they're the reasons I do it, and obviously, hopefully, other people sort of find it interesting and and uh, beneficial as well. Some sort of bird of prey there. What else can I say? Um, take you through the speeds in a minute and that map down there. I'll just turn on this headland. So that beep is to tell me that we're about to put in a tram line. I'll tell you how we've kind of worked that out now. So if you watch the camera now, you'll see that these are dragging behind it. So it's putting in two markers and, and then the spray when it comes to the pre-em you can see where the tram lines are up and down. Um, just to finish the box off quickly, this is a 4 metre Vedestad, so some of them have more down here. This one you can drop seed manually, so back into corners or just pulling away from corners, hold it down and it will drop the seed before it starts like turning and kind of properly um, blowing the seed out. If you want to up your rate, so around the headland or something, manually you can do that again decrease it and that's just to kind of reset it as to what we've set it at which is or calibrated at which is three kilograms a hectare and that's the drill and um, we can do variable rate but we couldn't get the SOYL software to talk to the uh, iPad so when I was down in those fields it would say it wanted 2.8 kilograms it would drop it right down to two so it can do the decimal points. Um, it needs to go into the dealership and, and that have a software update and then it should be all good to go, but just haven't had the chance at the moment. So um, yeah, and then in terms of the GPS, what we've got now is an RTK base station. So that's hooked up in the yard somewhere. Done that this morning. Um, and so yeah, I'm just getting a, a signal, satellite signal to tell me exactly where I should be. And um, so yeah, I'm not having to focus on driving or guidance at all. What I've done is this map down here, don't know how well you can see it, but um, we've got the blue stripes. So they're my tram lines, I can put those in automatically. This is nothing, it's not connected to each other, but this is just manually, so I know, I can see on here when I'm coming up to a tram line. Um, and again, next year, if someone comes in and, and wants to drill it exactly the same, they can then do so. They can see exactly where I've put in the, the, uh, the tram lines, if they're doing it with the Vallistad, that is. Um, what else can I show you? Yeah, um, set speed, so seven and a half K to turn on the headlands or coming to an end and at the moment 11 and a half K drilling sort of speed um, kind of been up to 12 and a half K but after the sumo it can be can be a bit rough so um, yeah at the moment doing 11 and a half K we've got the fan speed set on the green And then I've got the drill set on the plus and minus on the, the red hydraulic spool. So plus is up at the moment and you'll see. So when I put the guidance back on, which is go, don't touch anything. And then just press down the minus button and it kind of auto brings the bow marker out and then C2 to speed her up to cruise control. So um, that's kind of the setup really. and. What else can I show you? I was going to show you the base station, but I think that's got like the password and stuff on it, so I won't show you that. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so the hydraulics, so the green, which is the fan, is set on priority. Um, so it constantly, when you lift it, the drill, it doesn't like drop the hydraulic pressure in the, on the fan, otherwise you get quite a thin like headland or the join between the headland and the, the main body of the field. So that's set on 20, that's constantly going and that's enough for the all seed rate. For like wheat or barley it increases it a little bit more because the seed's a bit heavier. Um, and then yeah we've got a timer set for 8 seconds on the lift and lower on the drill. So. Um, and then, yeah, blue is set on my lifting it in and out, so um, for road mode basically. And the yellow is set on the discs, so you can change, you can alter how far or how deep or shallow you want the, the front disc to go in. So they're on about two and a half at the moment. And that's kind of the setup of the drill. And. Um, and what a view. It's, I don't know how well, actually, it'll kind of, you'll see how steep this bank is. It's not, it's not like stupidly steep, but it's enough to give the fen a bit of a, a challenge and it seems to be doing well, so. Um, boys have been flying past, doing the spring barley, all the wheat's in now. What day are we? Date rather, 30th of August. Um, Thursday, I've completely lost track of what the day is or anything, but um, yeah, I've been flying past doing the spring barley and after probably today or sort of, yeah, lunchtime early afternoon tomorrow, they should be onto, um, onto the beans, onto the spring beans. And then that's it. That's uh, the harvesting done. Or so we thought, until we go to the cider apple orchards so get the early varieties harvested and then the potatoes come in after that are harvested and then the late varieties of apples are harvested after that so it's kind of non-stop really until probably yeah end of October November time and uh, in between then and now all the wheat or a lot of the wheat's got to go out to make space for the potatoes so um, yeah, there'll be plenty of loading lorries and, and uh, things like that. So, um, yeah, lorries coming, fertiliser coming, the nitrogen for springtime. And, uh, yeah, into next year then. Christmas already. Can't believe I just said that, but there we go. That's bird of prey. Also, um, not how long have I been going? Yeah, I'll end this video in a minute, but um, sorry about the mic issues in the fertilizer videos. I have no idea what was going on there. I'm not using the mic today at the moment. Um, hopefully we don't have that issue again because it was uh, yeah, a real pain. But um, there we go. That's kind of drilling, Vanisad set up. And um, yeah, alter the depth outside manually. This is a 2010 Vadasa Rapid 4 meter drill so um, so yeah that's us there and we will call that quits so thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed this video and see you again in another one. Cheers bye!